you been in? I've been sick all week. Okay. Dog ate your homework and the cat ran no, away with the scraps. No, no, no. The pieces God, the dog didn't eat. Thanks, God. I finished. Good to go. Come on. Go. That's <laughs> right. We're ready. Yes. Okay, and? Uh oh. Well, you're on live. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Amen. We're going to get back your faith. Some of you are still faith. Uh huh. Amen. That's cute. But I didn't lose it. <laughs> people lose it. Yeah, you know I mean, people well, add it can always get stronger. Amen. Right? That's what we do. That's if right. you're in prayer each day, like I tell the folks, when you get up in the morning, mm-hmm. the first thing you should do is give God some praise. Thank you, Jesus. Give God some praise. Amen. 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 Yes, thank you to the Lord. What's that, sis? I say thank you every morning. Thank, thank the Lord. Lord. Amen. 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 Yeah, because yeah, yeah. if you if you can't stand now, how are you gonna stand when it when it starts getting rougher? Right. Oh. And it's gonna get rougher. It's gonna get worse out there. Oh. It's gonna get worse. That's why I die out daily. Huh? That's why I die out daily. You got to die daily. Yep. Yeah. Amen. All right. Let us open up with prayer, saints. Precious Lord, again, Father, we just want to thank you and give praise unto your holy name. You woke us up this morning, clothed in our right minds with the activity of our limbs, Father. Lord, you blessed us with a beautiful day, the sun shining with a nice breeze. You kept us all day long from hurt, harm, and danger. Lord, we just want to praise you for all the goodness. We want to praise you for the blessings. We want to praise you for mercy and grace. We want to praise you for our health. We want to praise you for everything, Lord. You keep on keeping on. You keep on giving us, Lord God. Even when we don't deserve it, Father, you keep on blessing us. Even when we're not right with you, you keep on blessing us. Even when we don't want to be kept, you have kept on keeping us, Lord. And we're so thankful today, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We just Jesus. want to give you praise today, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. For doing all Thank you've you, done for us, Lord. For the victories that we've received, the victories that we're walking in, even more so for the victories of tomorrow, if it's your will that we will even see tomorrow. Mm-hmm. But right now, in this yeah. moment, Lord God, we just want to thank you Amen. for being so good. Thank you, Jesus. For being so merciful. For being all that you are, Lord God. Help us, Lord, these last and evil days to stand strong, to keep our feet planted in you, to hold on to your unchanging hand. Lord, we ask you to touch our nation's leaders throughout this world, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. You see the mayhem, Lord God. Folks going around killing each other, no reason, Heavenly robbing it, and just doing the things that they're doing, Lord. You see all the Jesus. things that are going on, Father God. Heavenly Help us, Jesus. Lord God, to just God. trust God. you Jesus. and stop Send trusting God. ourselves, Lord. Yeah. Those that are that are that are that are out there in the world, Lord. Help them to turn from their wicked yes, ways Jesus. and seek your face, Lord God. Thank you, seek Jesus. salvation. Uh, Thank you. Seek deliverance. Uh, oh, seek the have freedom your way, Lord that God. only have you can give, Lord God. Oh Lord, that, that they may be covered with the blood. Uh, that blood that washes white as snow. 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 That Thank blood you, that Jesus. forgives Thank our you, sins. Jesus. Uh, when we come boldly before the throne of Lord. grace with a humble heart asking for forgiveness. Have your way, oh Lord. Father, Thank help you, us, Jesus. Lord God. Help, help us, Lord. Lord. Send Jesus. help from on high, Father Thank God. you, Lord. Just pass the angels to help, Lord God. All oh, the legions of angels. Thank you, Jesus. God. We Thank need you. you right now, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Lord. Need Thank you, Lord Lord. Jesus. Lord. Thank you, Lord. We need you to move, Father God. Right now, in Jesus. Upon us, Lord God. Thank Each you, Lord. and every one, Father God. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Lord, help us to stand in the gap for the yeah, lost, way, for the sick and body, yes, the sick and mind. Yes. Help us to stand in the gap for the strong. Those that, that our trials are coming up upon them, help us to stand in the gap as you want us to stand in the gap and not as we want to stand in the gap, Father God. Help us right now, Lord. Oh, Father, Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
help us, Lord God. Bring us, Father God, from the inside out, Lord. Help us, Father God, to see what you want us to see, to hear what you want us to hear, Father God, to speak what you want us to speak, and when you want us to speak, Lord God. Help us to put that bridle in our mouth, Father God, that we not speak unnecessarily, Lord God. That we not cause somebody else to trip and fall, Lord God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Because we can't do it by Thank ourselves, you, Lord Father Jesus. God. Thank you, Lord. Only through you and with you, Lord God, you can we Lord make Jesus. it, hallelujah, and Thank stand you, before Thank the judgment you, throne Jesus. so we can hear, well done, Thank you, my good and faithful servant. Have your way, Lord. Oh, Father, we Thank, Thank you, you and Jesus. praise you for the Thank victory. You, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' precious Thank name, you, Lord Jesus. amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord amen. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right, saints, the last couple of... Um, Glory. Thank you, Jesus. Wednesdays, we've been talking and, 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 and dealing with forgiveness versus unforgiveness. And, and the seriousness of unforgiveness. And the damage that unforgiveness can and will do. Nah. Amen. Not, not so much even to the individual that you're not, you're not, you're not forgiving but the type of damage that it does to you yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. As we brought out last week, you know, it, it ends up, it can end up being a, a physical thing, um, making you sick, giving you migraines, and all these type of things. Amen? Amen. Amen. Now, one of the things I, I asked the, 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 the class to do is to come up with scripture that dealt with unforgiveness. Mm -hmm. I mean, forgive. Forgiveness. We started forgiveness last week. And um, <clears throat> we went through quite a few scriptures, mm -hmm. but there's still a whole lot of scriptures going to go. A whole lot of scriptures dealing with forgiveness and a whole lot of scriptures dealing with unforgiveness. Amen. Amen. And we did touch on a few scriptures of unforgiveness last, mm -hmm. last week. But look, please remember, forgiveness is a choice. Unforgiveness is a choice. It's a choice that you have to make. Not somebody make for you, but you have to make. Amen? Amen. 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 All right, so let's let's let us let us let's, let's let's get the ball rolling here. Sister Amy. You know what? I was just thinking when you said that it's a choice. Um, a lot of times unforgiveness sneaks up on you so quick. Mm -hmm. Right as situation happens and it sneaks up on you so quick that are we really thinking about mm -hmm. you know uh, what we've done you know uh, a lot of times you don't think about what you've done until it's already in, uh, started growing bitterness in your heart mm -hmm. and then you're sitting here and then you're wondering whoa was that really uh, something to <laughs> I, I think um, unforgiveness has 100,000% to do with the act of pride. Oh. It's an act of pride. Pride, pride has a because specific if, part of it, yes. Because <clears throat> if, if, if we have that pride that, you know, I'm not going to forgive because he or she hurt me. I'm not going to forgive because he or she done wrong to me or whatever. And I'll pay him back and, and this and this and that. Mm -hmm. And they're on their marriage. And, um, and here we are, letting that root and invest our body and our and our walk. Mm -hmm. it, it will kill you. It, it'll choke the life out of you. And, and it, when, you know, when you say kill and choke, it will kill and choke you spiritually. spiritually. Right. Yeah, spiritually. It, it, it will. It will destroy your walk with God. Mm -hmm. yeah. And and you know we we you you heard the commercials talk about you know. You know, uh, if you have an, a, a cat, and that's that's the main commercial I can remember right now. Mm -hmm. And and you have the litter box, and after a while, you know, people become nose blind. That's the phrase I'll, I had to use that commercial to remember the phrase nose blind. And when we become nose blind to to an odor, we don't smell it no more. Mm -hmm. But then when other people come around or come into our homes, yes. the first thing to that door open up, they they know mm -hmm. you got an animal. Mm -hmm. 
or they know you got a cat. Right. Unforgiveness is the same way. Mm. You become nose blind to your attitude when you're talking to an individual that you're that you're you're mad at. And, and a lot of times, as I was saying last week, we we say we forgive people. Or we tell that person, I've forgiven you for, for whatever it was, and y'all have a conversation. But if you have not dealt with that thing within yourself. Have your way, Jesus. Understand what I'm saying? you got to deal with that thing that is within yourself. Mm -hmm. Because when unforgiveness yep. starts out, it will start to take root. Right. And as I said, you know, here, I think it was last week or the week before, it's like, it's like a, a, a dandelion in the yard. You can pop the head off and pull the flower, you know, the the, uh, uh, the petals off of it. And a day or two later, mm -hmm. right where that where you had pulled that one up, here, here it comes again. Why? Because the root is still alive. It's flourishing. And it's growing stronger. Mm -hmm. So we have to, to deal with that thing within ourselves. You know, a lot of times we say, oh, all I can do is ask, you know, tell, ask Talk to that person and everything is good. But is it always really good? Mm -hmm. More times than not, it is not good. We still walk around with a with an attitude or a chip on our shoulders. Mm -hmm. You know, we might grin and, and, and smile at that individual right. when we see them in church or out in the street, in the mall or wherever it may be. But when we hold a conversation with them, is that conversation short? Is it... Uh, do we spit the words out mm -hmm. instead of talk to them like we'd normally talk to them? If we see, 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 see what yes. unforgiveness is doing? Yes. It's, it, it, it's, 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 it's causing, what's the word I'm looking for? It's causing rot. Because it doesn't smell good. And it doesn't look good. You know, and, and I don't care how clean it may be. And to give you a perfect example, I, I was I was waiting for Sister Brooks to come from doing what she was doing. And I was like, it smells a little strange over here in this corner. And I got up and I walked around and I walked around and I got close to there's this 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 vase, it's about your tall. Mm -hmm. And it's got plants in it and it's full of water. And it's always been full of water. And some, you know, and some of the plants are rooted and, and whatnot. And I bent down. And I looked at the at the glass, because you can see through the glass, the water was nice and clear. But the odor that was coming up out of it mm -hmm. was starting to come out into the room. It was starting to affect the room itself. Right. Unforgiveness is like that. Mm. It'll come out and it'll and, and it was a slow process. But you know what I realized is that when we get home from church tonight, I'm going to take that joker outside, dump that water out, wash everything back down, put fresh water in there. What, what, am, I, what, am, I, what am I getting at? We, we say we've forgiven people. Right. And if we haven't, it's just like that water. Oh. It'll look good, but does it smell good? Stagnated. Mm. And the longer we let it sit like that, the worse the smell is going to get. Mm -hmm. The question is, how do we deal with it? How do we deal with it when we got unforgiveness in our, in our heart, in our spirit? How right. do we deal with that? Jesus, have mercy. Sister, 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 sister Linda, I see you got a thought. Well, you know, I, I have had that power people hurting me and then I have just you know I know I have to forgive them mm -hmm. but sometimes Boy. it all depends on what happened it's kind of hard to forgive them mm -hmm. sometimes it's not kind of hard it is hard yeah it is hard <laughs> to forgive <laughs> them, yeah. I mean I hear what you're saying but you know what I'm saying but, you know I I'm not a person to hold any grudges and when the person is close to me, you know, it really hurts more. But then 
I go up to the person or I, you know, I call them or I, t you know, I say, you know, I have this problem with, you know, and, Thank you, you know, or I say, you know, Thank you for sharing. I owe you an apology and I go, what for? Mm -hmm. And I go, well, I don't explain. I just say, I'm sorry, you know, because <clears throat> if you go into the explanation, it's like bringing up a can of worms, you know. Sometimes. Sometimes, you know. And I figure, you know, it's better not to say anything, to say I'm sorry, because that way the Lord knows, you know, that I'm really truly sorry, mm -hmm. you know. And so, you know, when, for a good example is that when I first came into the church, the sister, and I were in a situation where um, she told me something, and I go, she's, well, I'll tell you what, she, the sister said, you're not getting your daughter back. And I go, it hurt. Mm -hmm. It really hurt me because at the time, my daughter and I were in a, in a situation where we had a really stressful relationship. Right, right. And so years later, I mean, now we're close. Mm -hmm. And I got her back. You know, and it's like, and it has to be, you know, everything is in his timing. Everything. You know, and you have to trust him, and you have to believe in him for your forgiveness, as well as the person that, you know, has forgiven you. Mm -hmm. You know, because if you don't, if you don't go up and say, well, you know, I'm sorry for whatever, you're going to have this feeling like, I don't really like this person, I don't care for this person. True. And I don't and then you wonder why, and then you go, then, you know, you'll think about it and go, oh, yeah, I forgot to say I'm sorry, you know, and then you go up to the person or call them and say, I'm sorry for this, this, or that, you know, and then you have peace with yourself, and the person also has peace with you. Mm -hmm. yeah. and, and you're absolutely right, but that that's not always the case, though. Sometimes... <clears throat> We do have to, if we go to somebody that's offended us, we do have to go into a short explanation of why you they offended. Because a lot of times people offend us and they don't realize they've done it. Oh yeah. You know, and and that's where I'm coming from. Right. So if we go to them and say, well, I'm sorry, you know, mm -hmm. for you know, I'm just sorry because I, I, I had an attitude with you or something like that, and then we don't give them an explanation, they walk away going, what's it, what's what's her problem? What's his problem? Right. You know, I didn't do nothing wrong. Right. And then they turn around and they do the same thing again right. because they don't have a clue that what they've done the first time has offended you. Right. So in some situations, we do have to let the individual know. You know, you said something here the other day um, concerning this, and we don't have to go into no long detail and right. give them a novel. You know, give them the Reader's Digest version, you know, just short and, <laughs> and sweet. The Reader's Digest. And, and let them know, you know. You said something that offended me, and it went something like this. Mm. And I just want you to know that if I did something <clears throat> to provoke you to do that, I apologize. Mm -hmm. right. And then allow them to, if they want to apologize, they do. If they don't, then, you know, now the ball is in their court. Right. No longer is God going to hold you responsible for it, because you've done what you needed to do. So, you know, you're, you, can, you can walk away with that peace that you were just talking right. about. Okay? Now, and there's other situations where when we have unforgiveness within ourselves and we do go to that person and, and we leave and we're, we're still irritated or upset because they didn't apologize, unforgiveness is still sitting in. Because now we're, irrit we're so irritated. We're so, well, I went to them and they didn't come back to me. And, you know, unforgiveness is still in there somewhere. That root, because, you know, you got to pluck the flower off. You didn't pull up as much as you can. You got about that much root, but there's still that much root down there. Mm -hmm. So, in saying that, we have to search ourselves. Right. And how do we search ourselves? <clears throat> we got to get on knee, bend the knees, do and go before time. God. Mm -hmm. and, and be specific with God. Lord, reveal to me if there's anything left that is unclean in me. And if you want to get real specific, we're dealing with this situation. Don't leave it so broad open that God starts showing you all kinds of stuff 
and you become overwhelmed and don't want to hear or, 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 or react the way God, God requires you to. So be specific. <clears throat> Lord, you know this, this individual, and you know, in your prayer, you're in your prayer closet, um, in the upper room praying, wherever it may be. And you know, Lord, you know, I, I still have some, some, some bad feelings in my heart. Show me. But when you show me, give me what I need to accept what you're showing me. Because mm -hmm. a whole lot of times we ask God to show us stuff about ourselves, but we don't want to accept what God is showing us. So therefore, we become irritated. Oh, God ain't hearing me. God ain't answering. You know, we, we come with all this, 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 this reasoning. Why? 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 When we've asked God to show us. So, we've got to deal with that unforgiveness, that, 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 that bitter root that's still left within us. To make sure that it, it's totally killed at the root. Because even if, 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 if there's times where that dandelion might sit in that yard, you know, the roots might sit in that yard a month or two. And you get a nice little rain, or you water the ground, here come that individual again. And they say that same thing again. And here comes that, that, that dandelion popping back up. Yeah, but you forget. Bigger and badder yeah. than it was before. And now we don't forgot mm -hmm. that that root was there from before. And we think it's a new root. So now we got two attitudes. Oh, they did something like this to me way back when. <laughs> now they're doing it to me again. And, and, and why is it, is it bigger and badder now? Because it was never dealt with within us. We didn't deal with the unforgiveness that is left within us. That reminds me of the verse, ask great in me and a clean heart, renew in me a right spirit. But see, the only way you can do that if we we, we got to release, right. give up. Yes, that's because God will not take nothing yeah. from us. See, that's part of the right. that's part of the definition for forgive. Mm -hmm. To right. release, to to turn loose. You know, we we didn't really um, go into a whole lot of it, but as you all were talking, I went to Luke chapter 17. Okay, let, let us all go to here right quick. Luke 17. Luke 17. 17, uh-huh. You don't read it in Espanol. See, okay. Three and four. Okay. Luke 17, three and four. That's correct. Now, in the... Um, I know a lot of people read it in the in the uh, King James, but I just wanted to share just this little bit here in the Amplified. Okay. Verse 3 says, pay attention and always be on your guard, mm -hmm. looking out for one another. Mm -hmm. If your brother sins, misses the mark, solemnly tell him so and reprove him. Mm -hmm. And if he repents, feel mm -hmm. sorry for having sinned, forgive him. Mm -hmm. And even if he sins against you seven times in a day, and turn to you seven times and says, I repent, I am sorry. You must forgive him. Give up resentment and consider the offense as recalled and annulled. Mm -hmm. Now, as, as um, Sister Linda was talking, sometimes you do go to a person and you, you feel like, like, like I need to say I'm sorry. And you go to that person and you apologize. And if that person doesn't receive your apology, you have done what God has expected of you right, to right, do. Right, yep, yep. And therefore, all right, I'm going to talk about Sister Robin now. Sister Brooks here. Sister Brooks is finished with it. I have squashed it as far as I'm concerned. So if that person comes back to me and want to rehash the issue, the, the issue or the situation over again, that's when sometimes I get an attitude. And so I have to keep myself in check. Mm -hmm. 
So in order to not to, to, to get the attitude, I just kind of dismiss myself from the conversation, trying to keep my anger or my irritation or whatever it is down in prayer so that when that person is finished, then it's still squashed. It's, it's over with. In my book, on okay, my well, I'm, part, I'm, I'm listening to you. I'm, yeah, I'm, on my I'm, part. I'm, I'm, I'm. Yeah, because it, it, the way Sister Linda, the way she left me is like, oh well, my goodness, I need to go back to that person again and tell them I'm sorry all over again. That's that's the way it kind of left. She, it it, it kind of left me that way. Okay, and I, I and and see, I just don't. I, I feel, and and I know that that we all are, are people of flesh not trying to live in the negativeness of the flesh, but irritation does pop up. And as we continue to pray and ask God to give us grace over ourselves, you know, continue to keep our fighting nature, I'll put it like that, our fighting nature, our, our nature to want to, to justify everything, Keep that down, Lord. Just let me, if they want to, if they want to vent, let them vent and then leave it alone. Just, just, you don't have to keep going back and forth. Well, you said this, well, you did this. Well, after you did this, I said this, but you, instead of going through all of that, just if that person comes to you or if you go to that person and they don't accept your apology, and I was trying to, I, I know that there's a scripture that, um, that, and I'll find it eventually once I get it in my mind. But anyway, that if there is an offense, you go to that person. And if they don't hear you, then you go and get somebody else. And then as, as, and if that person still don't hear the two of you, then the scripture says you bring them before the church. Right. Well, a lot of our issues are kind of like personal um can, can sometimes be kind of catty, you know, you know, cat fat fight type things. However, there can be some things that people do to us personally. And because of that, then we as individuals and people of God pray about it. If you need help praying about it, get somebody to pray with you and then meet it head on. He's still looking up in the air, but I, okay, I see it. Let's see. And if it's still I'm trying to go back to that. Okay. <clears throat> Yay. Sister Gonzalez, she wasn't here last week, but. So give me give me some give me some scriptures that back up unforgiveness. Because our topic is forgiveness versus unforgiveness. Okay. Um in the research that I made, it says the sin which is unforgivable. It is true that Jesus spoke of an unforgivable sin. That's in Matthew. 
the people were amazed and said, Did you see Matthew 12, he, he not this <coughs> the son of David? But when the Pharisees heard it, he said, This fellow does not cast out devils, but by Beelzebub. 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 Mm -hmm. Cast out devils. By whom do you do your children cast them out? Therefore they shall be your judges. But if I cast out devils by the Spirit of God, then the kingdom of God is come unto you. Or else how can one enter with a strong man's house and spoil his goods? Except he first Mark chapter what three you said? Three. Verses Beelzebub. And by the prince of the devil casteth he out devils. And he called them unto him and said unto them in parables. 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 How can Satan cast out Satan? And in the kingdom he divided against himself, that kingdom cannot stand. And if a house be divided against itself, that house cannot stand. And if Satan rises, rise up against himself and be divided, he cannot stand but has had, had the room. No man can enter a strong man's house and spoil his goods, except he will first bind the strong man and then he will spoil his house. Verily I say unto
but it's in danger of eternal damnation because he, because they say he had an unclean spirit. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Um. Go home, Sister Linda. You have something before Sister Brooks raised her hand. Or will you just smile at me and smile at me? She was just smiling at me, smiling. <laughs> Go ahead, Sister Brooks. Okay. Um, I was, um, today I was studying that same scripture today, Matthew, I mean, Mark, Mark. 3. Mm -hmm. And when you read verse 29 mm -hmm. in the Amplified, it says, but whoever speaks abusively against or maliciously misrepresent the Holy Spirit can never get forgiveness, but is guilty of and is in the grasp of an everlasting trespass. And a lot of people don't understand what the word blaspheme means. And so I wanted to make sure that we bring that word out. And also, um, I did find that scripture that I was talking about in regards to you know, if your brother doesn't hear you, go to someone else, bring them with you, and then to the church. And that is found in the 18th chapter of St. Matthew, verses 15 through 20. Go ahead. Okay. You wanted me to read it? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. It well, I okay. You, I, I don't want to hear what you, I want, I, I want to, you you was, when, and, and the reason why I... I'll say it again. I've said it many times. It's no problem. We 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 we, we remember parts of scripture. Sometimes we remember the scripture, but when we're testifying or we're talking to somebody about scripture, do we know what we're really reading? Do we know where it is at? So if we get into that habit of of looking for it, it'll help us to remember more. Even if we don't remember exactly where it is, we have an idea of what book it is or what what know section of that book it's in and it'll make it a little easier for it's just a, a, me a memorizing tool all right. so go ahead sister Brooks. all right i'm reading from matthew chapter 18 mm -hmm. okay. verses 15 through 20 all right it says moreover if thy brother shall trespass against thee go and tell him his fault between thee and him alone if he shall hear thee thou hast gained thy brother but if he will not hear thee, then take with thee one or two more that in the mouth of two or three witnesses every word may be established. And if he shall neglect to hear them, tell it to the church. But if he neglect to hear the church, let him be unto thee as an heathen man and a publican. Mm -hmm. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth, shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, I say unto you that if two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything that they shall ask, it shall be done for them of my Father which is in heaven. For where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst of them. And see, and that, see, I think that plays into what I was talking about as well. Um, when, when, when you go to a person and you apologize to them, and even, like you say, even if you have to give them the reasoning for you, you apologizing to them, if they, if they say, well, let me clear this up, that's fine. But if they started to uh, getting the, the situation a little riled up, um, beginning to say things and doing things that um, will only make the matter worse. Then, brother pastor, that's when I, that's that's what I meant when I said that sometimes you just have to kind of shut yourself down so mm -hmm. that you don't get back into your your state of well, I in shouldn't apologize. Yeah, getting into the flesh. I shouldn't apologize to them in the first place. You know, that type of thing. Yes, ma'am. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was um, Matthew. St. Matthew 18, 18, 15 okay. through 20. Yes, ma'am. Okay. So, yeah, I, 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 it's, it's almost like a two-edged sword here because you've got an individual that you're going to, 
letting them know you forgive them. And then you have that individual that seems to not to want to accept your apology. So, um, I don't know. I guess if I follow what Matthew 18 is saying, then I should go and get somebody else and say, you know, I apologize to Brother Brooks, and he didn't, he didn't accept my apology. Um, would you come and go with me so that we could clear this up? You know, um, a lot of times... I've noticed that we as children of God, even if we don't, well, sometimes we feel like we should go and apologize to a person and really there's no reason for us to apologize. You know, I, that's what I think sometimes. But nine times out of ten, we need to apologize. Glad you yeah. Part in Nine here. times out of ten. Yeah. Bit, yeah. You, you, you cleared it up nicely. <laughs> Thank you, you sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. I, I do. I do try. I do try. <laughs> you yeah. Yes, sir. Okay, Sister Linda. Sometimes people tell me that I say I'm sorry too much, but you know it's like okay, you know, and sometimes I don't need to say it, but I say it anyway. Then, then you know, yeah, yeah. If 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 in your heart you feel that's what you need to do, then you go with it, sis. Yeah. You go with it. If if that's if that's your way of killing that root mm -hmm. or that what you believe is a root starting to, to start or a seed that's starting to to break through and start to root. If you feel that's what you need to do to kill it before it even becomes something, then sis, you if. If they, they get tired of hearing you say it, you know what? Let them get tired. Because <laughs> if you can walk away feeling like, all right, Lord, I've done what I need to do. I feel good. Now mm -hmm. I can pray in peace. Then I say go for it, sis. Sis Brooks. Um, I, maybe I should throw this out as a, as a question. Is the word unforgiven, unforgiveness in the Bible? If the word Is the word. U-N-F-O-R-G-I. I I right. No, I didn't mean it like that. I'm just, yeah, the word unforgive, unforgiving, unforgiveness. Is that word found in the Bible? And if it is, where is it found? That's, that's what I'm, I, you know. <laughs> yeah, I know. Sorry it's about that, y'all. It's not. It's not. Believe, <laughs> but I, I want to make sure before I say. Mm-hmm. Because I know the Bible right. talks a lot about unrighteousness. It's not right. Not to yeah. That's right. It says not, not to forgive. Not to forgive. Right. Yeah. And so when but you. Not, not <clears throat> UN. Yes, sir. F O R G I N I. Because last week you told us, well, mm -hmm. one, you told us to find, find, count it all joy. But then you said to for, um, for us to find scriptures on unforgiveness. So dealing with no forgiveness, <laughs> is that not unforgiveness? See, now, 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 now. now uh -huh. See, Sister Brooks is, 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 what's the word? She tried to get technical on me. Amen. Because you, that's what you do with us, so, you know. What's good for the goose is good for the goose, not the gander. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Or as my supervisor to do as I say, not as I do. I, I hear you, sister. Yes, sir. Okay, but no, I'll, I'll I, be a little more clear. With no, you. I mean, no, because like... Um, when I and, and I went searching uh, for the word unforgiven, unforgiving, unforgiveness, and I was like, that's not a word in the Bible. And then I was like, okay, so I know what unforgiveness means, mm -hmm. not, forgiving. not forgiving. So then I, I started looking for that for that for that in particular. Right. And, came and then it took you to scriptures. Yes, sir. Okay. But, Sister Angie, go ahead. But um, then you should you should have asked us why. Why what? Reasons for not being forgiven. Wait, wait, wait. 
back up. The reasons for us not being forgiven. I, I don't, I'm not following you. What do you mean? For okay. us not being forgiven. Uh, what's a good one? Turn to Matthew 6.14 then. Maybe I can explain it like that better. Matthew 6.14. Men who uh -huh. trespass your heavenly father will also forgive you. Right. But if ye forgive not yes. men their trespasses, neither will your father forgive you your trespasses. See, that to me is one reason why we are not forgiven. And and that goes back to what I was saying from the beginning. When when we 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 ourselves gotta search ourselves. Right, yes, sir. For that that tap root that is that which is that unforgiveness or not forgiving and deal with that within ourselves because we have to yes, sir. and that's why I was expounding on that so much because a lot of times you know how many times and I really need you to think on this one how many times have we woke up on the wrong side of bed mm. or we just not feeling well and somebody said something to us, and it offended us. And if we think back, how many times did they say that same exact phrase? When we were in a good mood, we weren't feeling bad, our body wasn't aching, and we laughed with them about it. It didn't have no offense. It didn't irritate us. We laughed. We, you know, hugged each other. Oh, that's so funny. And, and we went on about our business. Yeah. And that's what I said. Like, that's why we got to search ourselves mm -hmm. to see if it's really something they're saying that has offended us or is it or what is the root of, of us being offended because it it could be that we just woke up on the wrong side of bed mm -hmm. we woke up with a headache yeah. we're not feeling yeah. good our body's aching um something happened to someone we really care about uh you know all these situations come into play and that person says a little something that, that really didn't offend us. Mm -hmm. But because of where our heart or our mind is at, we got offended. Yeah. And then we blew it out of proportion. Out of proportion. We made a molehill out of, we made a mountain out of a molehill. Yeah. Right. And then we go to that person and we say, well, you know, you said so and so. <coughs> and then they're like, what? I've said that to you thousands of times and it bothered you before. Now it bothered you. What's, what's wrong with you? Right. So now they got an attitude and you got even a bigger attitude. Because you came to get things straight, and now they're trying to, you feel, we feel they're trying to throw it back on us as if it's our fault. Because we never what? Searched self. We are so quick to look at somebody else, before, you know, or what's the scripture say? Quick to judge. We look at the splinter in somebody else's eye, somebody else's eye, when we've got a whole log in ours and can't see. We've walked down that road way too many times. But as we, and, and that's why I say it's so important that we pray in the morning when we get up. Lord, cover me. Cover me with, 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 with your hand. You know, apply that blood each and every day. We need to apply that, that blood to the doorpost of this house. Right. right. That blood that, that will, will reveal things that, as we're going through that valley. So we can see where those detours are. So we won't take those detours because we shouldn't be taking them. You know, like a lot of uh, fiction movies we see and whatnot, they, they block off the road so they can have that person go the way they want them to go. Mm -hmm. The enemy will do it to you. Your flesh will do it to you. Quicker than the enemy will do it to you. Mm. So if we're covered with that blood... And that detour is there, and God will reveal it to us, and we'll hear God clearly. Because right. God reveals things to us each and every minute of the day. But we got to be in that, we got to be Christ minded. Right. So when He speaks, we can hear Him clearly. Because mm -hmm. a lot of times we don't hear Him, it's because we got so much noise going on up in here. It's not because He's not speaking, because we got all this, this noise going on. That's why I said, when you go into prayer, you know, sometimes it's nice to have some Christian music in the background. Sometimes it's nice to have the Bible sitting there. But sometimes you need to clear all that out. True. 
and you go before the throne of grace. You, you, you lay yourself out before the feet of God. And some of us need to climb up in his lap and have a face-to-face -face talk. And don't exclude self. And as the scripture said, Lord, prepare in me a clean heart. But how can he do that if we don't go to him and get rid of some stuff so he can give us that clean heart? we got to get rid of garbage so cleanness can come in. Can you pour new wine in an old, in an old vessel? You can pour it in there, but that don't mean it's Is that vessel going to be able to... Right. It you might be that rotted out or got, got brittle from being... Or got beat up from being... Or it's leaking from being used and abused. Mm -hmm. And we, we do use and abuse our walk with God. Yes, we do. Because we get... Sometimes we put garbage in and get garbage out. And we need to clean our hearts um, to, so to. that we will be get rid of all the garbage. And that's got to be an everyday, all-day thing. Right. And, and you don't want to be a hypocrite mm -hmm. and say, I forgive you and still have an attitude. Because what does the Bible say about being a hypocrite? Let's go into the scripture and see what it says. Go to Matthew chapter 6. Oh my goodness, now you jumped on the hypocrite. Forgive your brother if I forgive you. As, yes. Yes. But do we always do that? No. <laughs> okay, Matthew chapter 6, verse 5. And... And when thou prayest, mm -hmm. thou shalt not be as the hypocrites are. For thy love, for they love to pray standing in the synagogues and in the corners of the, of the streets. And a whole lot of folks don't have a problem getting down and praying, but are they praying sincerely? Or are they praying for show? Right. A whole lot of folks go to church and they go up to the altar. Are they praying sincerely? Or are they praying for show? That they may be seen of men. Verily I say unto you, they have their reward. But thou, when thou prayest, enter into thy closet. And when thou hast shut the door, pray to the Father which is in secret. Mm -hmm. And thy Father which seeth in secret shall reward thee openly. openly. But don't go in there expecting God to show everybody every, all, all your blessings. Like a whole lot of folks do, being a hypocrite. Oh, I'm going to go in the prayer closets. They can see how joyful I come out here being. Because I didn't connect it with God. Verse 7. But when you pray, use not vain repetitions, as the heathens do. For they think that they shall be heard for their much speaking. Be not ye therefore like unto them, for your Father knoweth what things ye have need of before ye ask him. After this manner, therefore, pray ye, Our Father which is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we what? Forgive our debtors. Forgive us for being Knuckleheads, as we forgive others for being knuckleheads against us, All right. who have who have who have uh, 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 offended us.
us or, or, or looked at us cross-eyed and didn't hug us when they came into church, but went and hugged sister or brother so-and-so. Or hugged them first and then came to me last. Right, and I'm supposed to be their they homegirl or their buddy, and they're going to come to me last. <laughs> I'm done, don't church folks do that? Yeah. Amen? How many yeah. folks have come up to you and say, oh, you hugged them before you hugged me, and, you, and we supposed to be close? Right. You know, they whisper in your ear as, as you're <coughs> hugging them. And what does that do to one's spirit? It kind of dampens it sometimes. It puts a damper on it. And there you hear the preaching's good and, and God's moving, and you were, well, why were they thinking that? Why did, see, the enemy that put, either the flesh or the enemy that put that detour out there and caused you to go in the direction you shouldn't be going. And not to receive what the, what the, you can't the, receive the service you the can't preacher receive. or the teacher is doing. Yeah. On the last couple of verses. Yes. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine up our kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Now, verse 14. Mm -hmm. Hear me well. Hear, hear the scripture well. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, uh -huh. your heavenly Father will forgive also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your heavenly Father forgive you. Your trespasses. All right. My Lord. And the Amplified calls it willful sins. Amen. Amen. Yeah, willful. Anybody got anything else before we close? No. Can God say on the cross, forgive them? <laughs> For they know not what they do. And that's just what Brother Bobby was, was, was said, talking about. Yeah. That's that yeah. very same scripture that you just He read. said, Father, that's forgive what them. Brother Bobby was saying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sister Amy. John 20, 23. John, you said, say John. John 20, okay. 23. If you forgive the sins of any, the sins has forgiven them. If any St. John, you said St. John 20, 23? 23, yes. Ah, uh, ah. Mm -hmm. I think you might need to be brief. Uh, <laughs> Anybody else have anything for this day? Now, that's where you are. Uh, Sister Angie, I hate, it's not like I'm trying to be a Budinsky, but I think you should go um, read um, St. John 20 and start at verse 19. Because just as uh, uh, Brother Bobby and Sister um, Kathy was saying that Jesus, when, even while he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they're doing. Mm -hmm. I think you should read 19 through 23 on that one as, um, to get a clear picture on why he's saying that. Were you reading that King, um, NA, NASB or NIV? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Read 19 through 23. Yeah, 19. Chapter 20. Chapter 20, verses 19. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. St. John, chapter 20, verse 19. Uh -huh. Going to 20, yeah, verse, to 23, verse 23. Verse 23 says. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when he had so said, he showed unto them his hands and his side. Then were the disciples glad when they saw the Lord. Then said Jesus unto them again, Peace be unto you, as the Father has sent me, 
Green Cell send that in the right. And when we have said this, he breathed on them and said unto them, Receive you the Holy Ghost. Whosoever sins you remit, they are remitted unto them. And whosoever sins you repay, mm -hmm. they are repaid. Now, why did you bring that up? That, I, that's my question. Because um, it, 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 uh, I got the interpretation that of um, if um, if you forgive your if you forgive uh, whoever, mm -hmm. your sins are going to be forgiven. Mm -hmm. But if you withhold that, the the unforgiveness, mm -hmm. you're not your sins are not going to be forgiven. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something, Sam. You got to go before. Or else. Because that's a sin. And you and remember, God's going to hold you accountable for everything. Right. Okay. Amen? Yeah. Amen. Amen. Okay, next week, next Wednesday, I want everybody to come back with definition of blasphemy. <laughs> blasphemy. on that next week song. I'll try not to get too deep into it, but we'll go as God leads. Okay, now I want to ask a question, Brother Pastor. What's that, Sister Brooks? Because did we really go through unforgiveness tonight? No. See? We, 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 we. See? But you know what? Every See? time we have a Bible study, on uh, something that everybody wants, wants a piece of the the steak. Mm -hmm. you can continue with Everybody gets their own cut. <laughs> and it's okay, because that's what Bible studies are about. Right. If there's questions, let's answer them. Let's not let nobody walk away or walk out those doors with an unanswered question. <clears throat> so, yes, we didn't hit everything like we, we, we planned, but we, we, you know, we, we, we have an outline as just a guide. Right. It's not written in stone. Go ahead, sis. So we have to go but back and just keep being open. Amen. Amen. Yeah. Amen. He's in charge. Always. Yeah. And and our, our model is we go as the Holy Ghost leads. Yeah. Because if we go as we lead, we'll end up out there in the middle of nowhere, Ooh. struggling and stranded. And um, that's not a good place to be. Nope. Not a good place mm -hmm. to be. Amen. 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 Those that have offering, we'll take up our offering, then we're going to pray okay. and then close out. Here Amen. I am. Thanking each and every one of you all for watching the Bible study on tonight. And I trust me, next week I am. I Amen. hope Brother that the Lord will bless me to uh, today, tonight. Uh, work um, with the Linda, uh, heart in regards to unforgiveness. <laughs> unforgiveness. <laughs> but it's a to unforgiveness. <laughs> not being forgiven. As Pastor said, we're going to work on the word blaspheme. So it's um, good for you all to also look up the scriptures dealing with blaspheme. Can God? Um, Can God? Go into your thesaurus Can God? and look at yes, the various God. different um, Amen. We walk by faith, uh, not by sight. Definitions for the word blasphemy. So I'm, I'm, I'm touching the roots right now that everything is going to be all, all the way back. Yeah, and if, it, if, if you get to your front door you and it, it stops running, you know what? You get out and you just praise God. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I'm Amen. Because he, he did what I you want to do. You want to get right back to your front door. And if God takes you from here to your front door, you got something to praise him about. That's a testimony in itself of the power and the goodness of God. Unforgiving spirit and unforgiving Amen. heart. Um, if you all have any questions, please uh, write me and, and Facebook. And you know what, bro? And God will sure to do my best to try and answer your questions. Because He was guiding those doctors' hands. Um, he put that knowledge thank in, you in, all in their head so they can see what I they saw. were doing. He moved them those instruments in their hands. Nobody but God. We don't do 
You know, Brother Bobby, uh, we don't do Lee, nothing by ourselves. We didn't wake up this morning by ourselves. It wasn't the Thank alarm clock. It wasn't the sun. It wasn't that time of morning for us to get up. It was that hand of God that, that reached down and shook us more you gently at night. It was his voice that we heard say, it's time for my children to get up and start the day to give me some praise. And, you know, at least that's that's with me, Brother Bobby. Everything I do, it's not me doing it. Except when I'm doing the wrong thing. That's me doing it. But everything that is good, it's, it's nobody but God. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you, my brother. It's nobody but God. It's nobody but God. Thank you, brother. Thank you. It's nobody but God. Because, and, and, and please, 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 always give God the glory. Yeah. Yeah. Even through when you're going through That's some good. trials, That's give good. God the glory. Because right. the devil, when you're going through some, some trials, the flesh don't want to hear you giving God glory. The devil don't want to hear you giving God glory. But the Bible says, in everything, give God the glory. Count it all as joy. When you're going through that battle, count it as joy. Because when you come out, you, you know you're going to come out the other end. Victorious. Thank you, Jesus. Because the Bible says he's already given us the victory. So we can walk victorious. Even when we're down and out. Cancer, uh, diabetes, migraines, I am victorious. Yes. Oh, glory to God. The Bible says, fear not what man can do to the flesh, but fear him who can destroy the flesh and the soul. In hell. Amen. Because people don't pray to God in the good times. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Going good, they don't pray nothing to God in the bad times. Small God. Yeah. But, but see, when, when they're going through something in the bad times, they're begging and whining. Oh, Lord, you know, heal me. I don't know why Why I got to go through all this. And so I say, Lord, you're going to bring me through this because yes. that's the kind of father you are. Yes. Amen. Amen. And if you don't bring me through it, then you're going to bring me home. And I won't have to, no more pain, oh, yeah. no more heartache, <laughs> no more tears, no more sadness, Amen. no more being Amen. beat down, no more feeling ill, no more none of that stuff. Jesus. I'll be on rock. Oh, glory to God. In the presence of the Almighty. Amen. Amen. Come on now, somebody. Amen. We got something to praise him about. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Don't let the things Thank of this you, world Jesus. suppress you. That's Don't right. let the things Ooh, of this God. world beat you down. Yes. Don't let the Thank things you. of this world cause you not to be all that God has called and made you to be. Amen. Amen. Because we are Jesus. overcomers. Amen. Thank you, Lord. We are because He said we are. And God is not one that would lie. Amen. And if That's he good. said you're healed, then I'm healed. I don't care what the yes, symptoms thank you, look Jesus. like. Thank you, Jesus. I'm healed. Hey, glory, glory, if glory. God says all is well. I don't care how bad the storm is. In my house, all is well. Thank you, Lord. Because I can't do everything. What's that, sis? Never. Amen. Amen. Never. Amen. He'll never leave us nor forsake us. Thank you, Lord. But Jesus. oh, let, let everything be going good. We'll leave God behind in yeah. a heartbeat. Mm -hmm. yeah. But soon as things start getting bad, we'll we'll search it for him. Lord, we will oh I, I need you, I need you, I need you, I need you. Mm -hmm. Yes, so true. We are we are a child of of a king whose throne can never be taken over mm -hmm. by nobody or nothing. Amen. Amen. We are his children. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank what, you, Lord what can Jesus. the devil do to us? Nothing. Nothing. Amen. And you know what? Uh, as Thank I said before, Jesus. you don't got to stomp the devil in the neck, kick him in the head. You don't have to defeat the devil. Hold on, bro. Just don't keep that thought. Because he's already been defeated. Yes, he is. So why are you kicking and beating on somebody that's already been defeated? Amen. Amen. You don't have Amen. to defeat him. He's already been defeated. What you got to defeat is this flesh. Right. That's where the problem is. Lord, tell right here. Right. Amen. Right. Amen. Amen. From the pulpit to the, to the one in the pew. Amen. That's where it's at. Thank you, Lord. Because Jesus defeated him already. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. So we can walk in Jesus. victory. Have your way, Lord Jesus. Because the Bible says he's already given the victory. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Say, I hear the chains falling. Amen. Amen. Those chains that had me bound up, I hear them falling. Thank you, Jesus. Because he sent down an army. Yes. One man army. Mm -hmm. Wiped them out. 
My, oh, my Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Watch out now. We'll be and shouting up in here. Amen. Oh, Thank we you, gotta Lord Jesus. Amen. Don't Amen. worry about not making it home, sis. God got you. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. He brought you this far. He'll take you the rest of the way. Yeah. He didn't bring you this far to leave you stranded in the middle of nowhere. Amen. Have your way. We don't you. serve a God that's going to leave you stranded in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Even if he got to make you walk around uh, 40 years and 40 nights. Jesus. He's not going to leave you stranded just sitting there. <laughs> yeah. And while you're going there, did he not feed them mm -hmm. in those 40 yes. years? Did he not give them water? Right. Yes. Did he, and when they wanted meat, did he not give them meat? Yes. Yes. Did their clothes ever wear out? Yes. No. Yes. Did their shoes ever wear out? Hallelujah. No. 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 Did, did they have to go? Amen. Amen. Out in the desert, how many trees are out there to get wood? But God provided. Yes, he did. My God. Oh, it's a good God. And then good when God. the army came God. after him, what did he do? What did he do? He put a separation Oh, let's back a little them. bit. He was with them 24-7. Right. As a cloud in the day mm -hmm. to keep them cool. And he at night to keep them warm. Mm -hmm. He was visible to them every second of the day and night. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And then when the enemy came up, a legion of them behind them coming to take them out, what did he do? He went behind them mm -hmm. and blocked their view so mm -hmm. they could not see what was going on and what, my God. That's good. That's and then, good. when the water was there, oh, see, the, the enemy thought they had, he had them. Oh, he, he might have blocked them back there while he's distracted. I got all this water in front of him. They ain't got nowhere to go. Mm -hmm. Is there anything too hard for God? No, it's God, not. God uh, opened you, the highway just like that. It's like when mm -hmm. the disciples in the boat when Jesus was sleeping, they woke him up so he didn't drown. But they were afraid mm -hmm. because they allowed the flesh. They forgot who was in the boat with That's them. That's right. The A lot of us forget who's in the boat with us. When we're going through some stuff, we forget who's in the boat. Cancer hit, we forget who's in the boat. Right. Migraines hit, we forget who's in the boat. We ain't got a whole lot of money to pay the bills. We forget who's in the boat. Mm -hmm. But who put us in that situation to not have the money to pay them bills? Right. It was it was not God because God it was it was not because God did not give us, it because we abused and misused what he did give us. Right. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yep. Thank you, Jesus. But yet still, he's right there. All the time. All the time. Yes. All the time. Because we're in the flesh. Mm -hmm. And, and we do that now. Mm -hmm. yeah. We're sick and not feeling good. We, we complain. God heals us. Then we got something else to complain about. It's too hot. It's too cold. I ain't got no cold. Come on now. Oh, 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 all this rain. We can't do nothing for all this rain. God bring us some. Oh, it's too hot. I can't breathe. Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm sunburned. Oh, somebody need an air conditioner. They complain because it's too hot. It's eight degrees. What, 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 what? Okay, and there's people in California who, who's, who the, 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 the fires are wiping out their homes. Yep. And we complaining about a little bit of two days of heat. Nine, These many. 90 degrees. <laughs> we, we might have hit 90 one day for a few minutes. Mm -hmm. A quick minute at that. The day we left was 108. Mm. And we had like... Oh. Since we was, we was in the 70s and folks was complaining about the heat. That's Instead right. of thanking God for it. it. Mm -hmm. All right, if, if it's too much, stay in the house. <laughs> Sit in front of the fan. Get in the refrigerator. Don't say that, Sister Angie. Stay home again. <laughs> <laughs> but remember, you, you, you stay home when God said you should be going. Mm -hmm. You might miss out on your blessing. Yes, indeed. That's true. Now you brother Gonzalez, you had something you want to say, my brother. Sister Linda.
you know, you know, I there's there are people in the world. Okay, but that gives me a lesson. I go, hey, you know, I have a lot to praise the Lord for God. Good I don't news. have any aches or pains, you know, but good, good news. I have friends that have aches and pains, but I pray for them, you know, Amen. and it's like for a good example, this person close to me, Sister Robin. She mm -hmm. can complain about all the aches and pains she has. And that's what I'm but talking she about. Doesn't, you know, she praises God for them. You know? Because, yeah. I mean, I believe this. I have believed this for a long time. You know, I really feel this deep down in my heart that the Lord is going to heal her. He, I'm heal. He you know, sis, if he doesn't I heal her heal. physically, uh -huh. he's healed her spirit. Oh, that's what I'm because talking about. Because he's given her a heart that, or a no. mind and a heart that says, Hallelujah. regardless of what I'm going through, yes, I'm going to praise yes, him anyhow. Yes, yes. Regardless hey, of how bad God. I feel, I'm going to praise him anyhow. Jesus, and if amen. I can't Thank get up and Jesus. praise him because his flesh is hurting now, yes, I'm yes, going to yes, pat yes, my feet yes, up yes, and yes, give him some praise. And if I can't pat my feet up, Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 
His holy Brother name. Moyle, Sister Moyle, Jesus, keep Jesus. On. Thank you, Lord God. Know that you, we've got you lifted up in prayer. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Keep fighting the good fight of faith. Yeah. Amen. Yes. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. All right, saints, let us stand. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Hey, God. Bless your name. Hallelujah. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hey. Oh, yes, he's good. He's good. My God. Amen. Oh, Lord. Hey, hallelujah. Glory. Thank you, Lord Woo. Jesus. My God. My God. Hey. Thank you, Jesus. Hey. Thank you, Lord Whoa. Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Whoa. Bless your name. Bless your name. Hallelujah. We praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, God. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. My God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank Thank you for the offering that we've received tonight, Lord God, asking that you would just continue to multiply it to meet yes, the Lord. needs of the church, Lord God. Yes. Continue to bless our pastor, Lord Jesus, as you give him strength in his body, his mind, and his soul, Lord God, to continue to teach us, Lord God, what you have for him to teach us, Lord God. My God. And Lord Jesus, let us be fertile ground that we yes, might receive Lord. Yes, from you Lord. Yes, Lord. what you have for us on this yes, day, every day. Lord God, bless every home that is represented yes, here tonight, Lord, Lord God. Yeah. Every giver and every potential giver, Lord yes, God. Lord. And I ask that you bless those that are on Facebook right now, listening to the prayer, listening yes, to the Lord. Bible yes, study, Lord, Lord God. God. That you touch each and every My one God. of them right now, right where they are. Yes, Lord. Wherever they are, Lord God. Yes, that you Lord. will put a hedge right of protection now, Father around God. them, Lord God. And continue to bind the hands of the adversary when he yes, tries Lord. to mess with them, Lord. My God. Continue to let them resist the devil, Lord God. Because as we resist him, he will flee. Yes, Thank you for the offering, Lord. Thank you for tonight's Bible study. Yes, Lord. Thank you for each and every one of us here. In Jesus' name, take us from this place, but never from your presence. In the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, I praise you, I thank you, I honor you, Lord God, with everything I have. In Jesus' name I pray. And the Amen. church say, Amen. 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 Jesus Amen. Name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, my God. Okay, y'all, hallelujah. Mm. We got this one. 
trying to um, say good night to you all. Thank you all for coming once again. Thank you all for coming. So um, y'all continue to keep House of Faith in prayer. Continue to pray for our pastor. And continue to pray for me that I'll be with Christ and have to be in his last and evil days. And Sister Chambliss, you just don't know how much I enjoyed our time together. God bless you all. And Erica, I'm glad that you was able to get here tonight. So God bless you. God bless you all. In Jesus' name, I praise you, Lord God, for each and every one of you. Sister Brooks is out. Peace and God bless you.